Hey, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Sunday. Actually, it's Palm Sunday for those who celebrate. Churches are empty, but Ken Small Engines is going. People ask me all the time, oh, you work outside? Why do you work outside? Well, I do. I like working outside. I do have my shop inside, but I do work outside as well. A lot of people have been asking me about this, uh, this axle and what was wrong with it. This is the axle from the STX-38 tractor that I've been working on. And you can see, let's see if we can get this over here for you. Look at the rock. You could rock that axle an eighth of an inch in all directions. Like I said, this thing was beat up. Both axles are totally screwed up and that's why I replaced it. But people are asking me, why did you replace it? The axles have to be nice and stiff. And it wasn't the reason that it wasn't greased. It was greased, but the axle pivot bolt broke. It shifted and these things were under so much stress that it just constantly ground out and wore out the spindle shafts. So that's what that is. But typical day here, it's uh, 8.30 in the morning on a Sunday. I walk home and look what's in front of the garage. All right. You've got a blower here. This guy called me up. He actually said, take it. You could have it. So, okay, that's a freebie for me. But here's one of my neighbors down the street. He called me up and said, can you get my blower started? He does landscaping. And he said he couldn't start them. So, you know, that's like the job for today um, is fixing these two blowers. Part of the job for today. Let's uh, let's go to the back and I'll show you. Uh, all right, we'll go to the backyard. Just so you can see what Ken Small Engines is like. There's my Cub Cadet that I use for snow plowing. My kid Sears, which hopefully will get running one day. It actually ran great when we parked it and just needs a battery and that's about it. Oh, we've got my STX-38, which is a yellow deck. I use that. A couple of mowers, which I'm probably going to sell. This customer from hell, who originally had the problem with the alternator and just never came back. So I don't know what's going on with him. And then my old faithful snapper. I love this thing with the rear bagger. Love it. It's what I use all the time. And uh, it's what I'm going to use. Not much land. I got about a little over quarter acre but you know enough enough to use a tractor you know it's not bad anyway a couple of customer tractors this one here the customer called me and said do what you got to do i want it like brand new so kind of crazy request but basically you have the briggs overhead valve engine 13 and a half standard briggs engine but the only thing I don't like about this engine is the ones that don't come with the oil filter because then you're just circulating old oil. And you can see he's, he's you know, not really kept it clean or anything like that. So this is basically, they say weed eater, but it's an AYP Husqvarna. It's been made for Sears, for weed eater, for everybody. You know, standard five speed, uh, peerless. So that'll be a fairly easy job to get going. We'll get it done today. Here's the STX I was talking to you guys about. And one thing I'd like to talk about on this, uh, just a quick point on this was, it actually runs good, cuts good. You know, the tune-up was done. Uh, new fuel lines, new oil filter oil, new air filter, all that stuff. But one thing I wanted to show you on this was, I had a problem. See that gas cap, see that nice hole in the top? That hole was plugged up with dirt when I first started this engine after I tuned it up. And unbeknownst to me, I didn't know it. It was running good and everything else. And then all of a sudden, I parked it, and I smelled fuel. And I said, wait a minute. So I walk around, and then I look underneath the carburetor there. And right underneath it, it was dripping fuel down the sides of the bowl. Now, when you drip down the sides of the bowl, it means the needle's not seating, and it's coming out the vent. And I said, what the heck's causing that? So I shut the fuel off. I drained everything, and I looked to see, make sure the needle and everything looked good put it back together, all right? I turned on the fuel and fuel shot out of the inlet where the needle is. Literally shot out like it was under 50 pounds of pressure. So I said, okay, so I shut off the fuel. I go to crack the gas cap. All oh, the pressure is, holy cow. So I took the cap apart and 
after I took it apart, I noticed the gasket around it was bad, which is no big deal, but that hole was actually full of dirt. So I cleared the hole, put the cap back together, and uh, started it up, and she's been fine ever since. But if you guys have problems with fuel leaking out of your carb, or you think it's running overly rich, or but this in this case is wicked gas leaks, check your gas cap. Very simple. Most people check the caps on push mowers and on trimmers and things like that, but on a tractor, same difference. Runs the same way. So just a tip for you. All right, that's just a quick tour of Ken Small Engines, who I am where I am, what I am, and uh, hey, just figured I'd show you guys, so that's it. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Actually, my live stream starts in about 15 minutes. If you're on there, catch my live stream at 9 o'clock Eastern time because I'm in Connecticut. Hope to see you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.